What's up, guys? Back with another Bible study. Still in the book of Revelation. Revelation 5. I saw in the right hand of him, him who sat on the throne, in the right hand of the Father, a book written inside and on the back, sealed up with seven seals. And we see this scroll also in a couple places we see it in Ezekiel chapter 2 now you son of man listen to what I'm speaking to you and do not be rebellious like that rebellious house open your mouth and eat what I'm giving to you then I looked and behold a hand was extended to me and lo a scroll was in it and in chapter 3 then he said to me son of man eat what you find Eat this scroll, and go speak to the house of Israel. So I opened my mouth, and he fed me this scroll. He said to me, Son of man, feed your stomach and fill your body with this scroll, which I am giving you. Then I ate it, and it was sweet as honey in my mouth. Then he said to me, Son of man, go to the house of Israel and speak with my words to them. And John, in chapter 10, was also told to eat this same scroll. And we see here in Zechariah 5. Then I lifted up my eyes again and looked, and behold, there was a flying scroll. And he said to me, What do you see? And I answered, I see a flying scroll. Its length is twenty cubits, and its width ten cubits. Then he said to me, This is the curse that is going over the face of the whole land. Surely everyone who steals will be purged away according on the according to the writing on one side, and everyone who swears will be purged away according to the writing on the other side. I will make it go forth, declares the Lord of hosts, and it will enter the house of the thief and the house of the one who swears falsely by my name, and it will spend the night within that house and consume it with its timbers and stones. This scroll of judgment. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, who is worthy to open the book and to break its seals? And no one in heaven or on the earth or under the earth was able to open the book or to look in it. Then I began to weep greatly because no one was found worthy to open the book or to look in it. And one of the elders said to me, Stop weeping, behold, the lion that is from the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has overcome as to, so as to open the book and its seven seals. So, so no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth It's interesting Maybe he was on the cross at the, at the time this is referring to, or in the air, resurrecting. Because it says, no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth. And I saw between the throne with the four living creatures and the elders a lamb standing. So between the throne here and the uh, and the elders which are somewhere in here a lamb standing as if slain having seven horns and seven eyes which are the seven spirits of God sent out into all the earth and the seven spirits are also the seven represent the seven lampstands Because the Spirit is what fills the, our lamps. The Holy Spirit is what fills us. And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him who sat on the throne. When he had taken the book, the four living creatures and the twenty-four elders fell down before the Lamb. Each one holding a harp 
and golden bowls full of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. So when he takes the scroll, before he opens the scroll, when he takes it out of, out of the hand of the Father, the living creatures and the 24 elders fall down before him, each having a harp and golden bowls full of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. And we see that in chapter 8, another angel came and stood at the altar. It's the altar of incense right here. Having a golden censer, and much incense was given to him, so that he might add it to the prayers of all the saints on the golden altar which was before the throne. And the smoke of the incense with the prayers of the saints went up before God out of the angel's hand. Then the angel took the censer and filled it with the fire of the altar and threw it to the earth. And there followed peals of thunder, sounds, and flashes of lightning and an earthquake. And that's when the temple in heaven is open, when, when the angel fills, takes the censer and fills it with the fire of the altar and throws it to the earth. That's when there's peals of thunder, sounds, sounds and flashes of lightning and an earthquake. And we see that in, uh, in a few places. And the temple of God, which is in heaven, was open, and the ark of his covenant appeared in his temple, and there were flashes of lightning, and sounds and peals of thunder, and an earthquake, and a great hailstorm. And we see that hail here in, uh, with the first trumpet. So at this point right here, before the seals are open, the 24 elders fall down and sing a new song. And they sing a new song saying, Worthy are you to take the book and to break its seals, for you were slain and purchased for God with your blood men from every tribe and tongue and people and nation. You have made them to be a kingdom and priests to our God, and they will reign upon the earth. Then I looked and I heard the voice of many angels around the throne, and the living creatures and the elders, and a number of them was myriads and myriads and thousands of thousands, saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and might and honor and glory and blessing and every created thing which is in heaven and on the earth and under the earth and on the sea and all things in them are heard saying to him who sits on the throne and to the lamb be blessing and honor and glory and dominion forever and ever and the four living creatures kept saying amen and the elders fell down and worshiped see this worship service we also see in chapter 14 chapter 15 here in chapter 14 then I looked and behold the lamb was standing on Mount Zion which is, the, which is uh, the new Jerusalem in heaven and with him 144,000 having his name and the name of his father written on their foreheads and I heard a voice from heaven like the sound of many waters and like the sound of loud thunder, and the voice which I heard was like the sound of harpists playing on their harps. And they sang a new song before the throne, and before the four living creatures and the elders. And no one could learn the new song except the 144,000 who had been purchased from the earth. Also right here, chapter 15. And I saw something like a sea of glass mixed with fire and those who had been victorious over the beast in his image and the number of his name standing on the sea of glass holding harps of God. And they sang the song of Moses, the bondservant of God, 
and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are your works, O Lord God, the Almighty. Righteous and true are your ways, King of the nations. Who will not fear, O Lord, and glorify your name? For you alone are holy. For all the nations will come and worship before you. For your righteous acts have been revealed. It's the resurrection. And also, also here in Revelation chapter 19, we see it too. After these things, I heard something like a loud voice of a great multitude in heaven saying, Hallelujah, salvation and glory and power belong to our God, because his judgments are true and righteous. And it's the same thing we just heard. For he has judged the great harlot who is corrupting the earth with her immorality. Speaking of mystery Babylon. And he avenged, he has avenged the blood of his bondservants on her. And the second time they said, Hallelujah, her smoke rises up forever and ever. And the twenty-four elders and the four living creatures fell down and worshipped God, who sits on the throne, saying, Amen, Hallelujah. And a voice came up from the throne, saying, Praise, give praise to our God, you his bondservants, you who fear him, the small and the great. And then I heard something like the voice of a great multitude. And like the sound of many waters and the sound of mighty peals, peals of thunder saying, Hallelujah, for the Lord God, for the Lord our God, the Almighty reigns. See, that's the worship service that happens when we're taken up through that open door before the throne of God. When the Son brings us before the Father. And we're around the throne with the 24 elders and the thousands and thousands of angels and the four living creatures. What a day that will be. That's the end of Revelation chapter 5. Thanks for tuning in. May God bless you guys.